Hello from Rome. I am now crossing the path between ancient central Rome and the mysterious, amazing, enchanting neighborhood of Trastevere, which is right up there beyond this bridge and beyond the Tiber River. And the reason this neighborhood is called Trastevere, it literally means beyond the Tiber River. So Trastevere is famous for its magical alleys and pathways. It's, it just looks like a separate part from Rome and it really was. Historically, we're talking hundreds of years before Christ. Historically, it was ruled uh, by the Etruscans, an ancient and mysterious people who ruled this part of, of Rome, modern Rome. We're talking about 500, 700 BC. And they were actually in war with the princes who controlled the other parts of modern side Rome. Um, but eventually, after more, like a few hundred more years, the city was united and the Etruscans ceased to be. They went extinct as people. Crossing the road in Rome is always a challenge. You almost get killed. Most time they're not. Okay, and here it is. This is where Trastevere really begins and you can see right off the bat that the path leads us to very narrow streets, very picturesque streets. Uh, this area became really trendy in the past few decades with hipsters and bars and restaurants. It's now one of the most expensive areas here in Rome, very sought after. And we're just gonna explore it together. No real agenda, just stroll around about and see if we can find cool things. If it sounds good to you, let's go. By the way, it's late September, early October, and it's really, I can't describe to you how perfect the weather is. It's just amazing. It's like 20, 22 degrees, sunny, chilly. It's just incredible. In my opinion, one of the best times to come and visit Rome. Via della Luce. The light streets, the street of light. Look at this ancient church. With the beautiful with the beautiful glass work on top. Fortunately it's currently closed I see. But it's pretty glorious. This area is filled with ancient churches and even old synagogues. And this church is from 1683. In fact, as the sign here says. When you travel here in Rome, always look up because you never know what you'll see upstairs. Look at this beautiful piece of art. I guess it's Mary and Jesus, but I'm not sure because they have crowns. But it's beautiful art nonetheless. So always look up. You never know what you'll find. Here someone got married, I guess. Or is getting married. Unfortunately, this is still one of the biggest problems in Rome, the garbage. I don't know why they simply just can't solve this problem and it's such a shame, really. Another reason to always look up is you never know what rooftops and porches you might 
see and look at this one really beautiful garden in this rooftop apartment I'm not jealous at all no not at all it's 4 p.m. and as you can see this is the time people just basically come to the cafes to get an aperitivo an approach plates or prosecco something like that it's really the perfect time in this beautiful piazza And of course, this area is very touristy. Lots of tourists come to this area because it's really one of the nicest areas in Rome. Turns out Trastevere has a soccer team. And uh, it's called Trastevere Soccer Team. And it has a concept store. And in the concept store, you can get all the Trastevere merch. So you have vests, their symbol is a lion. You have vests, backpacks, t-shirts. And apparently they found, were founded in 1909. And all kinds of cool accessories. Cos'è questo, questo gruppo di calcio? È famoso qui in Italia? È la terza squadra della, della capitale, c'è Roma Lazio e Trastevere è la terza squadra. È storica del 1909. Of course, lots of shops. Boutique shops. Another big problem here in Rome is the graffiti. Huge, huge problem. I just ignore it altogether, but I saw people commented on my uh, Venice video about the graffiti, and yes, graffiti here in Italy is a huge issue, and it's such a shame. Again, like the garbage problem, it just ruins the cities. It's usually drawn by bored young punks. And uh, yeah, look, it's just, and the, the, it seems like the authorities simply gave up. They just don't do anything about it. It's really amazing, it's 4 p.m. and places are packed. People are drinking, eating even at 4 p.m. Let's get off the beaten path for just a little bit. Sometimes the best secrets are found in the alleyways where people seldom go to. The neighborhood is filled with the, those piazzas. Well, we talked about nasty graffiti, but of course sometimes you have beautiful graffiti. Like, check out this one. This one's... Actually, I have two cool ones here. This one is very cute, this smiley face marshmallow. But this is really adorable. It's a nonna, I guess. Again, packed cafes. Packed piazzas. Beautiful fountain. Beautiful church. Ancient church. Since today is Saturday, the young um, people here in Rome gather in the piazzas just about now to hang, have a drink together, chill, and of course the national sport of chiacchiere, converse. They sit, they talk, and they talk, and they talk. Well. I can't blame them. If your language was as beautiful as Italian, you'd love talking as well.
That will love those tiny smart cars. Look how neatly they fit inside the alleyways. Just look at it. I'll go with them. Just to show you. Look how well they fit. Even in Trastevere, this is the car to own. No doubt. It just fits everywhere. Well, I guess not everywhere. Now they're stuck. Here they cannot pass. Potrete, mi pare, fare un... Si, giratevi. <laughs> well, they got stuck. I guess it's my fault. I brought them bad luck. Yeah, yeah, there they are. So, well, with a smart, you can always make an easy U-turn. Beautiful how the plants overtook some of the buildings here in Trastevere. And there you can see the neighbors having a conversation. I guess there is not a bad time to eat pizza, even at 4 p.m. people eat pizzas. It's always a time for pizza someplace. What a beautiful alley. Magical. It's called... Vicolo del Piede. <laughs> it's the street of feet. Or foot. This is one of the most famous restaurants, which one day I will check out, Tonarello. Tonarello actually has two branches here in, uh, here in Trastevere. This is one of them. And this is a place which is always packed. Always, always packed. It's so famous here in Rome for amazing pasta dishes, amazing carbonara. And the hype is well justified. I ate there once and it's really good. It's really, really good. This is the queue, by the way, for the restaurant. Yes, even at 4 p.m. there's a queue to Tonarello. What's really cool about this place, it's really like a maze, how the streets are, you know, they're shaped in this maze-like labyrinth shape. The alleyways, they're not straight, they're round and they go inside each other and crisscross criss -cross each other. It's really cool. La parolaccia, which means the curse word. Parolaccia. I want to show you this cantina little winery place because there's it's simply beautiful Italians they won't let me shoot inside but it's beautiful because it has the the prosciutto hanging on the ceiling there 
these beautiful ice cream shops, a cannabis theme store, which don't be fooled, I doubt they sell cannabis. I don't think it's legal yet here in Italy. So it's a cannabis shop without cannabis. And just a few hundred meters from the other Tonorello, there's this Tonorello. Um, which is also quite packed, but not as the other one, I guess. But this is the second uh, branch of Tonorello. And if you come here in Trastevere, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Hey, there's a, another ancient church. Wanna go in and check it out? Let's check it out. If you'll excuse me, I'll go confess for not uploading a video for a few months. So I'm gonna confess now. See you later. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I guess this is the best way to move around. Wow, check out this ancient tree, guys. It completely overtook the building. I don't know what it's called in English. If you know, leave, leave a message in the comment below, but it's being held by some metalwork, I guess. But just look how it completely, completely took over the entire alley. This is just in it. Beautiful. And it also crossed to the other side and took over the other building too. And if you just step outside of the main areas to the quiet alleys, you'll have way more calm trattorias with more places to sit. So you just need to leave the the alley. Ooh, what's this? Salve signore! Posso, posso dare un'occhiata? Posso? Grazie. Posso girare? No. Okay. So, passing by, I found out this studio of an artist. He doesn't want me to shoot inside, but it's really cute, so I'm gonna tell you about it. His name is Eugene, like Eugene. And the address is... 36, 36, 
What's the name of the street? For, I had a nice chat with him. He just doesn't want me to film inside. I don't know why. But he resides in Vicolo del Bologna. Ah, easy. Bologna Street, number 36. You should definitely come and check out his little art studio. Very nice guy. Okay, moving on. This is the beer alley. We have some cool beer places. This is actually the ancient gate inside Trastevere. And now I'm gonna pass through the gate like millions did before me and as millions will do after. This is the Botanic Gardens of Rome. So these are the Botanical Gardens, but I don't think I'll go there today. Let's leave it to another video. If you want me to go there and check it out, leave a comment down below. So it's from those beautiful gardens. I bid you goodbye for this video. I hope you like Trust Ever. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Of, and if you have, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And of course, if you have any recommendations for Trust Ever or something I missed about it, leave a comment down below with a recommendation. I'll see you guys on the next video.